Welcome to EFTM and today, a little what is. What is Wi-Fi 6? Now, if you're as old as me, you'll remember Wi-Fi A, B, G, N, AC more recently, and the new standard is A, X. But letters are a bit frustrating, so let's get it simple. They've renamed the latest to Wi-Fi 6, which means the previous generation was 5 and then before that 4. So it's really just a generational thing. And once again, as with any good technology, a generational leap is a huge leap in performance. And that's certainly the case with Wi-Fi 6. This is just a couple examples of Wi-Fi 6 products on the market. The brand new Orbi Wi-Fi 6, the Nighthawk Wi-Fi 6. So basically, these devices are equipped to connect to the very latest smartphones and tablets and computers that have Wi-Fi 6, but most importantly are fully backwards compatible as well. So all of your devices can connect to these Wi-Fi 6 router products, but the newer products will get the advantages that Wi-Fi 6 offers. Now, the key advantages are, as always, speed and range. That always helps, that's always good. But it's the overall bandwidth, it's the overall speed that's available that doesn't increase the speed to an individual device. This is about increasing what's available to the whole network. So when Wi-Fi AC came out or anything before it, we were maybe having five devices at home. You know, your laptop, your tablet, your smartphone, maybe you had a smart TV. But now, I don't want to break you, I've got 60 devices at home, plus depending on who's got theirs turned on. We've got light bulbs, we've got doorbells, we've got everything from cameras to smartphones and tablets. So the number of devices connected to your home network is really what comes into the equation when you're deciding whether to consider Wi-Fi 6. Getting a Wi-Fi 6 router now means you're getting ready for the future of devices that you're connecting at home, as well as coping better with what you've got. So with Wi-Fi 6, you've got more capacity, more lanes on the freeway. Think of it simply that way. And with more lanes on the freeway, the traffic flows not just faster, but more smoothly. And it's a very simple thing, but it, and it's hard to understand, but with previous Wi-Fi generations, your devices were never all talking at the same time. So you can have three people on the internet, but what was happening was one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, they were all communicating in order out with the internet and with your network. But now with Wi-Fi 6, there is some capacity to have multiple devices out at the same time, which increases the throughput. And that bottom line creates a better experience. Now, I've got pretty good internet at home, and I instantly notice the difference with Wi-Fi 6 because of the number of devices on my network and the speed at which we're using them. You may not notice it that moment, but as time goes on, you're gonna to start to get more from your devices and you're gonna be able to willingly and ably connect more devices to your network. And the other thing, for Wi-Fi 6 enabled devices like your smartphone, Wi-Fi 6 is more battery efficient. So as we progress and get more Wi-Fi 6 devices, we're gonna have better battery performance, better speed performance, and an overall better network with Wi-Fi 6. That's the unique selling point of Wi-Fi 6. That's why if you're in the market for a router, you need to start looking at all the products that have Wi-Fi 6 on them. And imagine that this purchase is gonna connect you and your home and your devices and your family for some time to come.